Let's get a view now from Fawa Georges, who joins us once again from London. He's the director of the Middle East Centre and professor of international relations at the London School of Economics. Um, does the killing of this FSA commander a couple of days ago by the Al-Qaeda-affiliated opposition group mark a turning point, do you think, in Syria's civil war? Well, uh, I don't see why we are seeing the killing of Mr. Hamami a turning point. Uh, there have been many killings of the Free Syrian Army in many parts of Syria. Uh, dozens of Free Syrian Army officers have been killed. Some of them have beheaded. We're talking about Hamami because he's a senior commander, but the reality is there is a war within. Uh, the rebels are deeply divided. Uh, they have turned their guns against one another. Um, the uh, Islamic State in Iraq and the Sham is trying to impose a Taliban-like regime on the Syrian people. They're terrorizing the civilian uh, population in many parts, right. in Raqqa, in Aleppo, in Latakia and other places. All right, given the, 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 these groups' uh, various aims, their, their, their disparate opinions on how Syria should be post-Assad, was it more or less inevitable that it would descend into some sort of infighting uh, among the opposition? Absolutely. I think you're talking about, as you said, Adrian, you, you, you have raised a major point. You're talking about the future of the identity of the Syrian state. What kind of a state? Should it be an inclusive, tolerant state or a Taliban-like? Uh, uh, Al-Nusra Front, the Islamic State in Iraq and Al-Sham believe in a very conservative, very reactionary, very Taliban-like regime. But we're not just seeing, uh, I mean, battles. Uh, over ideology and leadership. We're seeing battles over resources uh, uh, and also over weapons. Uh, most of the fightings over who controls what. Uh, and the reality is, uh, in the last few months or so, the rebels have suffered a major setback. And as a result, uh, cleavages have become more intense and more severe because of the pressure on the rebels uh, inside Syria. All right, given, given the pressure that the, the, the rebels are, are under anyway from Syrian government forces, the FSA says that it wants to avoid at all costs all-out war with these al-Qaeda-linked groups. Is it going to be able to avoid that? I don't think so. And I don't think that the uh, Free Syrian Army should basically tolerate such really uh, destructive groups inside uh, Syria. I've just heard the commander, one of the commanders on your report of the Free Syrian Army saying Al-Qaeda is not our enemy. Well, Al-Qaeda is as dangerous, if not more so, than the Assad regime. It's not only because you don't want to get rid of one dictatorship and basically tolerate uh, uh, another. Many Syrians across the Syrian landscape are compla complaining about the state of terror yeah. which al-Nusra and the Islamic State in Iraq are imposing on Iraq. It is inevitable, either now or in the near future, right, the you're, fight between them. Okay, you're, you're talking about physical violence here. Of course, there's, there's been political infighting among the various opposition, opposition groups from, from day one. All of this surely does nothing but, but play into the hands of Bashar al-Assad and the regime, doesn't it? This is another major point. In fact, the fight between the Frisian army and the militant Islamists really has major implications for the bigger struggle. Uh, not only because, I mean, the regime now is on the offensive, because uh, they're coming under tremendous pressure, as you know, in Homs, in Damascus, in the suburbs, in many parts of Syria. And that's why I can understand the reluctance of the Free Syrian Army to really uh, engage uh, the militants. But the reality is, in fact, uh, it is the militant Islamists who are targeting the Free Syrian Army and killing their officers and their soldiers in many parts of Syria and imposing their own Taliban-like regimes in uh, some parts of Syria, in particular in Raqqa. Fawaz Jojo, it's always good to talk to you. Many thanks indeed, uh, sir, for sharing your expertise.